Some people that know a lot of math are not going to be able to solve this problem, while other people that don't know a lot of math are going to see exactly how to get the right answer. So let's take a look at the question. So if 1 equals 5, 2 equals 25, and 3 equals 325, what's 5? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem, and I think the solution is going to surprise a lot of people. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time. If 1 equals 5, and 2 equals 25, and 3 equals 325, what is 5? All right, so here is our problem. And again, we have some sort of pattern. And the question is, what is 5? Well, we can't answer this question unless we understand the pattern. So 1 is equal to 5, and 2 is equal to 25, and 3 is equal to 325. So we need to look at this pattern and try to figure it out. So let's take a look at the pattern using some math, right? So maybe there's some sort of hidden mathematical code going on here. So if 1 is equal to 5, well, if we have 1 and then we're going to 5 maybe, maybe the rule here or the pattern is we add 4, right? So that certainly works here, but it doesn't work in our next uh, number here, right? So 2 plus 4 would get us to 6, so that's not going to work. Now, if we took 2 and we multiplied it by 12.5, we could get to 25, but this is not going to work over here, right? And of course, over here, we have 3 is equal to 325. Well, if we take 325 and divide it by 108, we'll get uh, pretty close to 3. So there's no consistent pattern of these numbers, right? So maybe we're looking at the problem wrong. So we might want to say, well, we're looking at it uh, this way from left to right. Maybe we'll order the numbers this way, right? So 1 is equal to 5. 2 is equal to 25, and 3 is equal to 325. Okay, so do you see any sort of mathematical rule that's going on here? So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not so sure the key to us uh, solving this problem involves mathematics, right? Maybe what we're talking about here is logic. And if that's what you're thinking, well, that is good thinking because uh, really we don't have a specific mathematical principle going on here, right? We're not talking about things like a sequence or a series in mathematics. What, we're, uh, what we need to do is try to find the pattern, okay? So just because we have numbers doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to, uh, you know, use a lot of mathematics. Okay, so that is a big clue, okay? So try to look at this uh, pattern differently. All right, so here are our numbers. One is equal to five. 2 is equal to 25, 3 is equal to 325. If I asked you, okay, so given this pattern, what do you think 4 is going to be equal to? All right, so if you think you know the answer to that question, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But uh, let's go ahead and finish up this problem. All right, so as I indicated, what we're talking about here is logic. So don't get too caught up in mathematics per se. Try to look for a pattern. Okay, so 1 is equal to 5, 2 is equal to 25, 3 is equal to 325. What is 4 equal to? Because if we can figure out what 4 is equal to, then of course we know the pattern and we can figure out what 5 is equal to. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer that question right now. So the pattern that's going on here is the following. So 1 is equal to 5, and 2 is equal to 25. So this number, our 2 here, is being put in front of the first number, 5. Okay, so if you're kind of thinking, all right, well, 2 and then 25, if you notice this 5, this 5 was in the first uh, pattern here, or the first uh, kind of set of numbers. But uh, if that's the case, let's test it on this next set of numbers, 3 
is equal to 325. So if we take this number and put it in front of the previous numbers, well, it seems to work, right? So 3 is equal to 325. So this pattern is holding true. So 4 would be what? We're, we're just going to put that 4 in front of the digits of the previous number, which of course is 325. So 4 would be equal to 4325. Okay, so if that's the case, then 5 is going to be equal to what? We're going to put 5 in front of the 4325. So 5 is going to be equal to 54325. Okay, so this is the answer. And if you figure this out, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100%. Matter of fact, if you are in my math class, I would just say take the rest of the year off because you are so smart. You probably have an IQ of 130. So don't feel bad if you didn't figure this out because um, my math problems or my videos, excuse me, on YouTube oftentimes involve mathematics, right? So maybe you're thinking, well, this guy, you know, he's a math guy. So maybe I'm looking for some sort of mathematical rule to uh, figure out the pattern. And that is good thinking, but sometimes you have to think outside the box. So this is really important, especially for a lot of you out there that have to take some sort of uh, test that involves math and logic, right? Oftentimes, uh, people want to see if you can figure out a pattern based upon logic. Okay, so hopefully enjoy this problem. Now, if you need help in mathematics or if you want to just kind of relearn some math, make sure to check out all my various courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.